Hi everyone, Hussein here. Welcome to my channel. I'm an Unreal Engine authorized instructor and the author of the recently released Virtual Filmmaking with Unreal Engine 5 book. I've been teaching and using Unreal Engine 5 for the past few years and I've accumulated some tips, tricks and techniques of which I'd like to share with you. I am positive that these techniques will improve your workflow and productivity. If it does, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more Unreal Engine based content. Let's get started. In this video, I'd like to point out a few important features in the Epic Games Launcher. Up here, we have a few tabs. If you click on any of the tabs, they will take you to a different page. The samples tab will take you to the samples project that is provided by Epic Games. We've got the marketplace tab where you can buy and sell projects. Also, not forgetting that every second Tuesday of the month, you will get some free for the month projects from Epic Games. Then we come to the library. The library is where you install all the engines. Click on the plus here. You can see you can start installing engines. In this case, I will not need this. And then you have your list of your projects. And down below, you have all the stuff that you have purchased or gotten for free from Epic Games. The most important feature that I want to show you in this Epic Games launcher is the location of the vault because the vault will probably take up a lot of space on your hard drives. You need to know exactly where to locate your vault directory. Click on the settings icon on the bottom left of the launcher. Scroll down until you come across edit vault cache location. So in my case, I have actually put it to drive D, one of my bigger and faster hard drive. If you do not change this, it will default to the C drive. It will probably take up a lot of space on your hard drive. I suggest you change to another drive and click on apply. The next time you use any of these projects, you'll be sent to the new location. I have a few engine versions installed in my PC. Whenever I've installed a new engine, I will click on this drop down button over here and I'll go to the options. If I scroll down here, I'll make sure that I have disabled the target platforms over here. You look through all the engines and you just saved yourself a lot of space on the hard drive. If for whatever reason you want to open up your current project with another version of Unreal Engine, what you can do is you can actually select the project here in the Epic Games Launcher, right click, show in folder, and you will see your Explorer window. In Explorer window, right click on the project itself. And for Windows 11, you have to go down to show more options, but for Windows 10, it'll be somewhere around here. Click on that and you'll see something here called Switch Unreal Engine Version. And now I can select 5.4 and click on OK. Whenever I double click and open up my project now, it'll open up with Unreal Engine 5.4. Here is how you rename your project. Right click on the project you want to change your name of and select Show in Folder. And once you have the Explorer folder, just rename it over here. I want to call this Unreal Engine 5 Preview. Go into the Config folder, select Default Engine, if you need to, right click and open with a text editor. In my case, I already have set that. Double click on it. And in the default engine INI file, you just have to rename it here, preview. Now you can just save, close that. Before we're done with this, you just go back one step and just rename the folder as well. So you don't get confused. And we are done. As soon as you restart a Git launcher, you will have the new name here. Before we jump to the next tip, I'd like to talk about my book. If you're interested in using Unreal Engine for filmmaking, I strongly suggest you to check out Virtual Filmmaking with Unreal Engine 5. It covers topics such as principles of photography, storyboarding, Quixel Megascans, Lumen and Nanite technology, MetaHumans, virtual cameras, and much, much more. It has 400 pages of step-by-step -step instructions for creating a film from scratch. I'm sure you'll find it a great resource and you'll also be able to download a PDF copy of the book. I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, on to the next tip. Once you have completed your project, a good way to archive will be to go up to the file menu, go down to the zip project, and then just give it a name. In my case, I'll just put there tips and tricks, and it'll save as a zip file. This is a good way because Unreal Engine will remove all the unnecessary files or the folders before it zips it up. That's it for this video. If you find any of the tips useful, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you like more Unreal Engine 5 tips, tricks and techniques, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you in the next one and bye for now.